Hello, Comanche Native here, and what I decided to do was go ahead and do a broadcast of screenshots that were given to me by other fellow The Tomorrow Children gamers who love this game, and I decided to go ahead and showcase those. I was going to put them in some of my videos. I still plan on doing that. In my videos, I like to add the name to the screenshots, it does take time in doing that, but in this this uh, broadcast, I'm just going to just show the screenshots. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's... Okay, I'm going to go to the project. And here we go. This is the first one. So basically, what I did was I just put them all together. Every screenshot that was given to me based on the Tomorrow Children. And the only reason why I decided to do this was because, more importantly, I miss the game greatly. And I know there are other people out there who miss it as well. And there's some people who haven't even gotten a chance to even play the game. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Just play it. It does have some of the music on there, so I'm just going to have it go through. I may speak every now and then, and I just might might just let it just run through. Now, I know I could have made a video of the screenshots with the music and everything like that, but I wanted to do a live stream of this, and who knows, I might throw in some clips later on, but let's go ahead and get started.
All right. Now, the thing about doing this is that you only have so much space that you can do. The music and everything like that, for some reason, it says, okay, your um, project has reached the limit. So it kind of just stops me. Let's go ahead and load up the other one right here, which, in my opinion, doesn't really quite make sense because it does say four minutes and 10 seconds, but a video can be around 60 seconds, 60 minutes long. So why it tells me I reach the limit for this project, I don't know. I don't know. But again, I just wanted to do this to honor all those people who send me these screenshots of this game. And you have to remember, even though we, we never spoke to each other, and I'm talking about the gamers who played this game, we never had like a party chat going and we were all talking together while playing this game. We played this game separately. We did our own things. But oddly enough, it felt like family. It did. It's like you didn't really have to hear them speaking to you, but you knew their personalities and you knew what they were doing. And this game was all about teamwork and friendship. Oddly enough, because, you know, you didn't have that personal basis that interaction, that you need to build that. And through this game, through this gameplay, it happened. And I think that's quite unique. You know, me, I was always a loner. And I always say that. I was always a loner on the Tomorrow Children. And I kept to myself for the longest time until I ran into a group of individuals that just you know, piqued my interest and their personalities started shining through more and more. And I just got caught up in all the moments of trying to do my best to capture as much as I could. And even though I, I have, I would say, an okay footage of the game and, and did streams and everything, I feel like I didn't do enough. I did, I felt like... I could have done more. And um, I don't know. It, it's just a weird feeling. I still don't give up on this game. I still believe that someone somewhere is going to go ahead and say, hey, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this game. Let's buy the license and let's do this game. Let's bring it back and make a lot of people happy. Who knows? It could happen. It could happen, you know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start this. Again, it has music. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be quiet. Um, I haven't checked my channel. I don't even know if everything is working right, which, you know, I should check my channel. Um, in fact, hang on. Let me do that. Just a minute. Give me just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Yes, everything's working. Nice. Now, I should have checked my channel when I was playing with my brothers on Human Fall Flat because if I did, I could have told Native Mercy, your mic is not on. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Again, these are these are screenshots, okay? These are screenshots that others, other gamers went over there and sent me. So, I'm just going to go ahead and press play. Enjoy the music, guys.
That's funny. <laughs> well, or this this one screenshot right here. Roxy. They they said that it glitched on them and then they were walking the void for the longest time. Which um I thought that was extremely funny. And um that's that's what you see here when they told me my my little girl is still walking the void and she hasn't died yet and I started laughing, that's why, you know, I sent the message, laugh out loud, because, you know, it, it glitched and everything like that, so yes, I say Roxy, but it's not Roxy, I, I always do that, I say the names wrong, and then this right here, this was sent to me, pictures that um, some gamers took of me, right here <laughs> and i don't know i think it's funny because you know like i said when you have the binoculars in the game when you you got them out you couldn't really hide um it was an action and that was the thing about the game was that anyone who did an action you could basically see each other so if you were sitting down or if you were doing a dance move or if you were sitting other gamers in the game could see you because Throughout the whole game, you couldn't see anybody unless those actions were taking place. And I thought that was so funny because, you know, sometimes I thought I was being sneaky and they weren't really paying attention. But, um, you know, some some were paying attention and they, they, they got me on, um, they got me on a screenshot. I thought that was funny. This, this I thought was really funny. Um... I, I started laughing. I think this one was from a live stream that I did. Someone took the screenshot and they sent it to me. And, you know, if you take a closer look, I'm wearing the doctor's outfit. And they are basically wearing kind of like the nurse's outfit. And they're identical to each other. So, basically, medical staff is on cue in this screenshot right here. And I think we were all looking at Miz. I think it, we were looking at them. <laughs> and then right here, again, me thinking I'm all sneaky. No one sees me, you know. Boom, someone saw me and they took a picture of me, took a screenshot of me, and then there I am. I was like, darn. They were thinking of being sneaky. Because really, you know, the thing is, is that I wanted to try to capture people. And at their kind of like pure state, you know, like they're not thinking they're being watched and they're going about their business and playing the game. And then I could get them on video and everything like that. So this is me checking the police booth and taking note of everybody who's there. Everybody. Okay. And um, right there again, someone saw me. They took a picture. Now, Fox went over there and spelled my name out in the back there, which I thought was really cool because I never thought about doing that. I never thought about, you know, spelling out my name in those those letters. So that was kind of cool. Ah, just wonderful moments. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and load up this other one. I think this is the last one here. Now, I think someone asked me how many video footage I have, like how much. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, some of it's just raw footage where I was just randomly, you know, filming whatever at the time. Um, there are times I would play the game and I don't know if what I was doing was any good. So I just hit the, you know, save button for the video clip and then just store it. So, and I think that's basically my... Like, I, I have a lot of gigabytes in that one file, the Tomorrow Children. So that's that's how much time i just been saving the video and everything like that. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, again, these are screenshots that were given to me for videos that I was going to put in. And um, some of the videos I did use, some of the screenshots, you may see multiple screenshots that's because they sent me multiple screenshots. And instead of just picking, like, going through and saying, okay, I, I already have this. and I just figured I'll just throw it all in there. So everything you see is from 
A to Z, meaning the first screenshot given to me all the way to the last screenshot that was given to me. And um, yes, you can see all the people here. Look at this. Look. Isn't this cool? You can see their names and everything like that, and they're all posing. Ah. <sighs> So I'd have to say this, if you played the game, The Tomorrow Children, and you have screenshots, you see these people, I suggest adding them to your friends list. I do. I suggest that. Because who knows, who knows, you know, when the game kicks back on, we'll have a team going, and I know, I know, wishful thinking. Well, hey, I can't help it, guys. I still believe in the game i still believe that there's a possibility and a chance and that's why i've been doing drawings now i did mention in a broadcast that i was going to give away the drawings that i have been doing i plan on doing that um i would love to keep some of the copies i think what i'll probably do is the halloween one i'll give away and the one screenshot, uh, well, not screenshot, one, the one artwork I did where it had multiple colors on her face, it was the first one, I'll give that one, give that one away, now, the middle one is the self-portrait of me, I have to keep that one, I do, I have to keep that one, you know, I, I'm, I ha going to get a frame for it, I have it securely put in my portfolio, but I want to put that in frame and hang it up, I don't know, but I will do other drawings, and I will give those out for free, and how that's going to work, I don't know, we either do like a little contest, or just, I randomly pick people, or something like that, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out, but let's go ahead and play it, let's get back into it.
right. Now, some of the screenshots you saw, um, or were mine. This one right here, that part right there was mine. And, of course, when I did this game, I went over there and I added this. Like the backpack and everything like that. And then this one right here, a screenshot that I took in the game. Another one. I threw mine there at the end, I think. I still believe that. Save our game. Now, you may be wondering, okay, wait a minute. What's the big deal about this game? I know some people think, oh, it wasn't that great and everything like that. Well, just think back. We're all gamers, okay? Think back of a game that you really, really loved. You really, really had fun. And take it away from you. Gone. Deleted. Over. Game over. Now, once you're in that state, you'll understand exactly why I feel the way I do about this game. Now, I talked about this before, but PlayStation Home, when it ended, it crushed a lot of people. And watching that, Watching them go through all that. Me, I mean, I paid a lot of money for the game. I, I spent, like, a crazy amount. And it disappearing just like a blink of the eye. Just, boom, gone. We're going to turn it off because of this reason and that reason. When PlayStation Home ended, it didn't really hurt me as much as it hurt the other people. This game here, though... This game hurt me. It did. Because I was kind of like, oh, man, why... Why, oh, why did it have to end? Now, before this game ended, there was MAG, M-A-G. When MAG ended, honestly, near the tail end, there were some gamers that came into that game, and they were so rough that they overabused the vote to kick. And... When that game ended, it kind of seemed like a relief a little bit. But, again, I have never really seen that type of action truly on that scale in any other um, shooter game. Now, Battlefield comes close, but the repair part of Battlefield is not the same as what was in MAG. But when this game ended, I saw all these unique individuals, and I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed digging. I enjoyed building. I enjoyed fixing things, getting resources, gathering, helping in a teamwork type of sense. And I liked how it looked. A lot of people were like, oh, The Void, I don't understand it. It's a weird game. I can't wrap my, my mind around it. Okay, well, yes, it's very artistic because you do have to step out of your comfort zone to fully take in the vast detail of the game to truly appreciate it. And when other gamers started building these mass structures in the game, I was like, that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work to do that. Let's see where... Oh, this one right here. Now, this is true. I do have... I try to get like a TTC squad going. I have one in Monster Hunter. I have one in Battlefield 1. Um, I'm trying to do that a little bit more. And uh, push that out there. Um, it's usually just me and my brothers who are part of that group. The thing about having the girl... In um, a shooting game, Battlefield anyway, is like every time they die, they get to see this person saluting them. They probably don't even know who this is. Like, what the heck? Wh who's that? You know, but um, kind of glad how she turned out. I thought that was kind of cool. I see this right here, another structure. Now, if you ever played the game, you would realize how hard it is to put these blocks in the right spot. Because if they don't stick to one another, they will fall straight down to the ground. And you have to go down there and pick those up. So, yeah. They started putting structures like this in the game, and I thought that was awesome. Okay, let's get out of this. Now, what I plan on doing, hang on, is... What I want to do is just go like this. 
new project. And I'm just going to grab some of the footage that I have. I have a lot on this system. Ugh. This stuff right here that I did was just random stuff. Like, I don't know. I was just acting really, really silly. Really, really silly. Like, I was like, okay, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this. <laughs> I was like, maybe this will work, maybe that will work. I don't know. I was just grabbing anything. Just, you know, because it was kind of like the tail end of everything. So I was just like, okay, this this will work, that will work, this will work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add this to, we just hit continue. Again, I was just grabbing whatever I could. And let's see, go like this. Now the one project that I'm really, really working on, and it's it's hard to try to get it just right because let's see where where is it at oh there they are look at this i'm not quite finished with all of this but i'm telling you whoo it um it's tricky see i have to individually grab a hold of everybody and try to put them in this one video that I'm really working on. Look at all this stuff. It's it's a lot of work, guys. These are screenshots that I have to take and then bring into to try to mix into something. And yes, I went over there and I just grabbed like this with all that in there. And I'm still not finished. This is just a little bit. This is just a little of the stuff. I, I'm trying to do I think this one right there was the intro thing yeah we'll go ahead and grab that let's see honestly I don't know what some of this stuff is because I haven't really gotten a chance to take a look let's see some of this I thought was just amazing, like, and then some of this is just weird. I'm just kind of like, okay, I'll grab this, I'll, I'll, I'll record this, this looks good, I'll grab this, and and then some of these are kind of like screenshots. Ah, oh, there we go. You found the limit. That is the limit. Hang on, let's, uh, maybe this? Oh, hang on, this, this then? Okay, there we go, like that. And then that's the end. Okay. So these are kind of random, guys. These are random. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I think I'll probably be talking during this, this too. But yes, I was just grabbing anything. I would go into certain towns and i just run around. And, you know, this island was popping up. I thought this was so cool. I'd never seen an island form like this. And I was like, whoa. This is so cool looking. And it's my favorite stage, too, of all things. I thought that was so cool. I was like... So, again, just running around. Just I thought, okay, maybe I can make a gift out of this. Maybe I can make a gift out of that. And... You know, and I'm just kind of looking around, doing silly stuff in the game. Yeah, I did a lot of weird stuff in the game, I, I have to admit. And I just have, like, tons of footage. Now, I, I do plan on getting an extender for my PlayStation, so I will finally have space to um, continue editing. But I do ha have plans for different type of videos and stuff like that to put up. I thought, okay, maybe I can make a gift out of this. So I'll sit there and I kind of like, okay, how does this look? Does this look okay? Can I can I get a nice shot of the outfit? I 
but yes, I do miss the game. I do, I admit it. It was unique. One of a kind. And I like to say I am, am, I am enjoying the artwork, the, I guess you can say, sculpture work. I've seen a lot of fan art based on this game. It looks wonderful. It looks fantastic. If I run across it, I try to share it on my Twitter. I'm real impressed by, you know, everything that other gamers are doing. I think it's really, really cool. Now, there would be times where, you know, I was doing things like... I get into the game and I just go, Hey! Yes! A fellow comrade. How you doing? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for sending me some of the screenshots. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. I still smile. I really do. I still smile when I see this these you know video footage. I've seen other people um, stream some of their video footage too, and I try to to get in on that. I try to give them a like, watch them, and just smile. I don't know. It's just something about this game. You just kind of like. I do miss it. I think right here I went to go get me a drink. My little character's just sitting there like, uh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Look at the town person. The town person's like, are you coming in? <laughs> I don't think she's coming in. Oh, I missed the town people. That was so funny. I mean, the thing about this game is that you know, bad one. Oh, okay. Um, I think the game, the thing about this um, game was that every time you went into a town, someone was there, and they were doing their best to try to fix the town up. Now, I do remember some people telling me that they were gamers who would go into the town and just troll. They would destroy things to make the town not do so well honestly that's that was fine because it just means you know you just get to do more work you know because i've been into towns that were maxed out and there was nothing i could do so i just gather but um i never did run into um a individual who was purposely destroying things to try to make the town go down i i did not um run into that. I did run into some trolls who were purposely trying to get people incarcerated though. I ran into those individuals. But... Yes. Yes, my friend. I always smile too. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I did in this game that's just weird. I was kind of like, okay, what if I just kind of like go like this? what would happen, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh, look at that. I was like, oh, death. <laughs> so I would basically do things this silly in the game because, I don't know, I thought, well, maybe I could get video footage of this, video footage of that, and then make something out of it. Now, this right here, I don't know, I might have to slow this one down. These are screenshots, right? And these are the, just some of the individuals that I ran across in the police booth. So, there's a lot of them. This is just a little bit of what I managed to do. I'm still working on some more. Whew, it's a lot of work. It is, because on this one, I'm trying to make sure I do not duplicate the same person I see over and over again.
Oh, you missed the little scientist? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you know anybody who's on this list. If you ran into them or you've seen them, this is um, a screenshot that I'm working on to um, put into a video. And it's not easy. It is not easy in Share Factory sometimes. I have to record what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, this is, I do use that. I use that. Now, I've seen evil. I've seen evil before. And ZZ, I've seen them. Neg, I've seen them. And then some of the other ones I haven't really seen before. So I thought that would be kind of interesting to go ahead and, and kind of capture them. And then here comes the other one. Boom! Again, you know, trying to, you know, this is me going to different town, random towns, going to the police booth, and just getting a video footage of going down the line and making sure I get everybody that I see on the list. You never seen any of these comrades? You know, honestly, I never did speak to anybody um, that I seen, you know, except like maybe, um, I would probably say I got to know around 20 people in the game, but we never really talk, talk. And, um, when I would see the, the same person over and over again, I started watching them more and more and I'd get them on footage, you know, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, a lot of players, a whole bunch of players, and and people who were trying to get into the door, and it was just Sony who pulled the game too soon. It was, it was too quick. I mean, what would have happened if they just kept it in there until the very end? Let the other players who wanted to play play. I mean, what would have happened? What you know, we will never know because. Someone, somewhere, said, you know what, let's just take it out of the store. People were trying to get in. They wanted to download it and try it. They wanted to play it. But see, all those individuals who wanted to play it were just cut off. And it was bad. It was just bad. Oh, you see him? That's good. I mean, I don't know. I, I just... It's just the game. I liked it a lot. I really did. Let's get to the other one and we'll stop it. So did I stop it? Whoa, I didn't stop it. Hang on. I think it was this one. There we go. I mean, it's kind of like a huge yearbook. You know? You have... Um, like, if you're in a a, a, um, a large school, you don't know everybody there, but you see them in the yearbook, and then later on you kind of see them walking around, you know, school, and you're like, oh, I've seen that person in the yearbook. It's kind of like that. I wanted to kind of give that feel to it. That's why I, I put them in this category, made this screenshot, just to show the individuals who were on the game, working hard. Honestly, these are kind of like all the new people I've never really ran into, but I did capture them. Yes, and it's a beautiful game. It is a wonderful game, and it had detail in this, in everything, and I'm crazy about detail. I will notice the little tiny small things in the game, and I'm like, wow, this game is amazing. And I, I noticed the fabric that, you know, the characters are wearing, the pendants. I saw how that looked. I noticed the eye movements. I noticed how the hands moved. And, I mean, I was very impressed by this game. It was an underdog game that a lot of people just loved. I mean, yeah, everyone loved the underdogs. I understand that. But, man, this game was good. It was fun. I don't know. It was just fun. Yeah? All right. Nice.
go to the next. Then we'll stop it. I think I stopped it. Yeah, I think I stopped it. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, oh, about right there. There we go. And, you know, I have to say, it came down to um, Rango Streamer. Rango's um, YouTube. They were doing a stream at this one place. And I saw them all gathered. And I was like, wow, look at look at these guys. And I was impressed because they were all lined up, all posed the same. And I was like, whoa. And... You know, I got in their screenshot. I got in their way. I didn't mean to at the time. I tried to stay a little bit further away so I, I wouldn't. I didn't know if they were streaming or just taking pictures. You know, until later on I found out that, that you know, they were actually streaming. And um, that was kind of like, you know, it opened the door to seeing that, okay, there are other people streaming out there. I'm going to go find them. And I started looking up Tomorrow Children streams, and I started seeing some people, and I started subscribing to them and watching their streams, and, you know, I was like, yeah, that's so cool. Now, honestly, these guys right here, you know, I'm there, right in the middle, Comanche Native, but um, I seen one one before. And there's Nag again. And then Doom's. Day X. I seen them moving around in the game a lot. Oh yeah, and even to this day I still kind of watch their streams, you know, because I I like to support the comrades. I like to support the Tomorrow Children gamers that I ran into and I got to know them and I consider them my friends. You know, part of my gaming family, yeah. You know, and I wish them all the success in the world. I hope that they, you know, accomplish what they're what they're doing with their channel. And I'm watching new gameplay now. Oh, here comes the the little news. Me and my brothers plan to get Red Dead Redemption soon. Soon. I don't know if tomorrow, but soon. You know, it will be this month. But, let's see. I've seen some of these guys. Cloud. I've seen them. But, I'm still working on screenshots. I am, of this. Yeah, you watch them too? That's good. But, yes, I think that, um, you know, this game brought me a lot of friends. And... You know, I cherish that a lot. PlayStation Home. Uh, I probably had kind of like... Maybe a handful of friends that kind of stuck around. Some had bad feelings. You know, when PlayStation Home ended, I was in a weird state. Because my mother passed away and I was kind of like... Losing it a little bit, but still hanging on. And, um... So I didn't really um, respond too much to some of my friends out there. And uh, that, that's just, you know, when you're fighting, you know, that. And then your friends are telling you, you know, you're not really paying attention to me. And you're kind of like, you know, it's a weird state. So I, I guess when PlayStation Home ended... There was no really family for me when that game ended. But, and Mag, when Mag ended, again, the family part, you know, probably a handful of individuals that I still have on my, my friends list today from Mag. And they're cool guys, they're cool native guys. They're really skilled. Um, but Tomorrow Children, a vast majority of people... I mean, that I, I felt are my friends because of this game. And I think that's it. That was it. I mean, you know, sometimes my mic came in and out during this play, and I was thinking, what is up with that? 
but again, the Tomorrow Children brought me a lot of friends. And I thought that was so cool. I was like, how is it, how is a game where we, we don't really communicate with each other, we don't really like see each other really often, but you feel like you're family. How is that possible? What, what is it that makes this happen? You know, <laughs> she's looking around like, I have no idea. I mean, it's, wait, it's like, hang on, let's see, wait, wait, let's go like this. I mean, her look, her look on her face just kind of like explains everything on, on how I'm wondering, like, what? How is a game like this make me feel this way? It's like her face is kind of like, what the, what's going on? What's up with this game? Am I crazy? I, what? So many people. I think they're my friends. They're my friends. Gaming family. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. <laughs> I mean, the look on her face just kind of like sums it up for me. Like, this game was fun. You know, you could ask my brothers. I would spend hours and hours in this game. Hours and hours. Hours upon hours. <laughs> My brothers would leave like, oh, I don't know, um, 10 in the morning. And I'd say, oh, I'm just going to be digging, you know, work on some points, try to finish a couple of towns, you know. Oh, I got to do some other stuff later. They would come back seven o'clock that night and I'd still be playing and they'd be like you're still playing that about like, what time is it <laughs> oh man and I love the suit oh I love the jacket I loved how my character looked I thought this thing was so cool 12 hours whoa nice That is nice. Now, when people started giving away the boxes at the end, oh my goodness, it was like Christmas. I was like, yes, I need that. I need this. I need this. I need that. I need this. And when I would watch other um, Tomorrow Children streamers, I'd watch where they were at and I'd think, how do I get to that location? And I would go to different places and different places. I said, okay, this is it. This is it. And then I would go there and take a look at everything that they were streaming. I thought, oh, that is so cool. Yes, American and Japanese. Now, Japanese gamers, I have to say, hats off to them. Those guys are very, very skilled. Like, when they dedicate themselves to a game, look out. They become pros really really fast and Americans you know I me I'm an American but sometimes I get lazy <laughs> so I'll start to play other games and everything like that but hello hey hello fellow comrades but yes the the Japanese players impressed me a lot because of the skill level like I mean the monuments I didn't know anyone could do that I didn't know you know they knew how to get the monuments down they knew what they had to do you know I played the game and I thought I was an expert and then the monument thing came and I was like wow I don't even know what I'm doing I'm having fun but I don't know what I'm doing you know <laughs> Now, I ran into some American players, too, that played this game, and I watched some of their streams as well, and th the communication that they would have when they would go out on digs was probably a little bit better than me and my brothers, because when me and my brothers would play, I think Native Mercy would say, okay, I'm on the bus, I'm, I'm following you, and I'd be like, I'm not on the bus, and he's like, who's this, this person's wearing the same outfit as you, and I thought that was you, <laughs> That's our communication, me and my brothers. So they would be following, 
you know, someone that they would think was me and I would be following someone I thought was them. I think this thing glitched on me. I thought this was kind of weird. It was like that. That happened to me and I was like, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I was like, this looks weird. I was like, cool, I got like an outfit. This is so cool. This is me gaming, guys, right here. This is me, right right there. That's my expertise. <laughs> I do some silly stuff like this, and I'm like, this is so cool. I need to get this on video. Oh, someone just killed a a stingray up in the sky. The chaos in this game was amazing. I was like, I got it. I can do this. No problem. It's all right. All this is right here is kind of like years of trying to, to do finishing moves on um, Mortal Kombat. So I kind of got the, the repairs down. And of course your your screenshots, your videos were very passionate on, on um, the emotional part. You know, when your character was crying and how you designed the whole sadness thing. I mean, that that tore me up. <laughs> I was like, oh, goodness. They're making it hurt. <laughs> I was sad. It was. I was kind of like, oh, that is so sad. I got to get that on camera. Hang on. <laughs> But, you know, in my opinion, I think what happened was that there were too many people saying, oh, yeah, your game wasn't that great. It was not good. We're going to go ahead and shut it down. You know, you didn't bring in the money. And and they just forgot about the fans. They were like, well, wait a minute. Maybe the fans don't feel this way. You know, maybe I should try to push. But then again, I don't know. I have no idea. I was like, can I move this? I was moving stuff around, just trying to use some of the, the, um, the skill, I guess. Ooh, that bus going by. Yeah, I, I I think that they just kind of, um, they let the negative side get to them too much. And I have to say, the negative side does get to a lot of people. When people tell you your artwork isn't good, or what you're doing isn't good, or what you're producing isn't good, or they, when that negative individual starts to talk to you, we listen to that negative side uh, way too much. We need to listen to the positive side. And um, I think the negative side, it's just there to stop you. It's like, okay, quit doing what you're doing because you're showing me up. So I'm going to go ahead and be negative towards you. I think that that's probably what happened. And um, honestly... They should have just gave it a little bit more time. I think it, it probably would have... They they would have had the numbers that they needed. Because there were some people who were streaming for, you know, a crazy amount of time. And they were doing marathons. Hats off to them. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, Sony makes those decisions. You know, I saw them do what they do. I love their games. I love the fact that, you know, we get so many of them. It's just... I think they make little harsh decisions a little too much. They just need to give things a little bit more time. I know everyone's looking for that, the golden goose that will bring in a lot of cash really quick. But, um, yeah, they should have waited a little bit more. Yeah, Q Games. Well, they're, they are kind of making some some good games, you know, but the guy who really produced this, yes, I, I totally know what you're, you're talking about. I do feel sorry for them, too, because, you know, you, you produce this game, you design it really well, you think, okay, I hope they have fun, you know, good luck. And um, then you hear the negative side of like, oh, wow, your game's not making a lot of money, you, um, you're not getting a lot of people to, you know, go into your servers, and it just kind of weighs on you after a while. Because then you start to second guess yourself. Wait a minute, maybe they're right. Maybe I do, I'm doing bad. But again, that negative stuff, you got to like kick it out of there. You got to say, no, wait a minute. Negative nilly. Don't, don't talk to me now. I'm having fun. I'm doing okay. Leave me alone. But it is hard. It is hard to do that. Me being an artist, I do get a lot of negative feedback sometimes by individuals, but then I sit there and I think, well, you may not like it, but someone else might. I think this right here has kind of like, I'd always get up and go get me a drink and come back, keep playing. I say, okay, I'll eat after I'll shake these trees, but it never happened. I just kept playing. I love this tree. I like this tree. I like how it looked at night. And it's just the littlest things, you know, shaking the tree, watching it kind of shake and hearing the impact of this and that. I'm just all smalls. Oh, I wish I could just be playing this game. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, those kids are funny. Some of the townspeople. Some of them were really, really funny. Now, I am working on getting me a jacket like this, and, of course, white pants, shoes. I told my brothers, I'm going to cosplay as the Tomorrow Children. Yay. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. I mean, you know, thank you for your friendship. I do appreciate that. You know, thank you for reaching out to me and and adding me to your friends list and telling me certain things that were going on in the game. I, I appreciate that greatly. I always thought this was cool. I said, this thing needs gold. Uh, time for gold rush. Now, when I was streaming, um, I would always spend a lot of money on the store because I didn't want to go back into town and grab some of the stuff. You know, I wanted to like, okay, if I'm, if I'm going to this island, I'll stream that I'm going to this island. I'll try to explore as much as I could. So I would spend a lot of money trying to get nothing but the white tools. So I could be prepared.
And honestly, this game right here, and I, I said this before, but this game right here, um, this is probably the first time I started actually streaming and, you know, talking into the mic. And, you know, I was encouraged to do this. Native Janet, she said, you should go ahead and stream the game. Because, you know, I told her that it was ending soon. And then um, Native Mercy was the one that said, oh, you should go and, you know, do a video on the island. And I thought about it and I thought, yeah, why not? Okay, I'll try to do that. So every time I went to an island, it was kind of like the first time... For me doing that. So I made a lot of mistakes. And honestly. I did not think. I had the voice for anything. To be honest. Because I was thinking. No one wants to hear me speak. That's crazy. Hmm. Oh thank you. I appreciate that. My phone ringing. Ooh, that bus. Gotta watch out for Todd. Now, I did see some video of people kind of being, like, negative towards this game. I could understand that. I did. I was kind of like, okay, I, you know, I could tell that they didn't really... Well, I, I don't think they got it. It was just too... Ahead of its time, to be honest. Because, just think about it. Is there a game like the Tomorrow Children out there before or even now? And if the answer is no, then the game is definitely ahead of its time. Yes, drunk mustache. I don't know how many times Todd hit me with that bus. I've seen other people get hit too. I did. I see them flying past me and I'm like, whoa, what happened? What? Did, how did that happen? You know, that was before I knew the bus was actually doing that to them. I know Native Mercy was talking to me one time and I got hit by the bus and he was like, whoa, what was that? And I went, I think I got hit by that bus. He's like, no way. And I was like, I think so. And I'd save the video footage. I'd go back and I could see I got hit. And I'm like, oh, I did not know that could happen in the game. Glorious apples. Apple for you. Apple for me. Now, the bad thing about some of the video footage is that it would glitch on me. And I'm like, oh, what the? Oh, yeah. Yes. TTC forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. I think that all of us, all of the comrades, we keep the game alive through our memories and what we do. And Sony can't take that away from us. They can't. They can't take our memories away. They can't take um, the stuff that we, we honor a game. They can't take that away. They could shut the door. I said that before. They could shut the door, but that's about it. If they were smart and they want my money, they need to turn the game back on and I'll be happy to give them my money. You know, give me a hard copy of this game. I'll pay $60 for it. I'll pay $60 just to play this game again. I'll do that. And like I did say before, um, I do plan on giving away the two drawings that I did so far, I was maybe kicking around the idea of actually 
withdrawing certain individuals and then just giving them a drawing of their character. Again, I don't know. I never done that before. I never did like a contest thing before or even like a giveaway thing. So I'm just kind of trying to figure that out. Yes! Still alive in our hearts and our memories! I could never get bored of that. Never! I'm like, I should and I score check this out, look! Could never get bored of this game. And then they started making um, racetracks, which I thought was really, really cool. And then I loved these dolls. I remember I told Native Mercy, because he had one of those, those dolls on his backpack. I said, oh, guess what? This turns into a person. He's like, what? I said, yeah, there's people inside there. He was like, no way. I said, yeah, you put them on this and then they, they hatch. And he's like, whoa, I better go put it up because I was just going to run around with it because I like the sound of it. Yes, they started making racetracks in the Tomorrow Children. The racetracks were made from void powers and they would get the vehicles up really high and they would race on a makeshift racetrack that they made. I would watch them on the stream and then I would go to that location just to check it out. I was like, whoa, this is pretty sharp. I like this. I think we need to make a TTC holiday, the gamers. We need to like choose, either we're going to celebrate the beginning of this game or the end. And I told my brothers this, I said, I, I plan on doing that, like making an event. Maybe I'll do a stream on that day and then make it like a TTC holiday type of, type of day, I don't know. Oh, which limit, what? I failed something. I don't even remember. I'd like these little apples. They look like little treats. Little cakes. I thought, oh, they look like a little cake or peach. Go, go, Godzilla. Ah, oh, man. I miss those guys. Like, before Monster Hunter, we had those dudes right there. Godzilla, and they're bigger than the monsters that we hunt in Monster Hunter. Well, some of them are. But, um, man. I miss those guys. Officers in the town didn't really do anything like they wouldn't help they would just run and arrest you and tell you what to do but uh, they would run yes I mean, I would see other gamers, and man, they would take those guys down in like a couple of shots. And I was impressed. I was like, wow. We got some town protectors in this game. I, w I remember watching an individual who was just shooting from the turrets. And they were dedicated. They stayed in the game as much as I did, just shooting. And then Maxidon came along, and Maxidon was a town protector too, which I was like, that's pretty cool.
I mean, they sat on those turrets and they, they were shot at anything that came close. Man, it's a good game. I like the fact that supplies were coming in at a regular basis. I mean, you really felt like you were doing something in the game, like you were really helping, even if it was the smallest thing. Now, I understand if there were a lot of gamers who were at the loading area and they took it upon themselves to, you know, really, really gather... You could be stuck not getting anything, but, you know, it was fine with me. I thought it was kind of cool. I thought, well, okay, if they're, they're grabbing everything, I'll, I'll manage to do something. So there was kind of like every, you know, there was something to do in the game. I wish I got more of the dance stuff. I didn't get a lot of the dance. Oh, when it became night, it became night. Beware of the darkness, comrades. My brothers did like playing the game. They would play it every now and then. I know Last Shot Legacy, he bought all the outfits in the store. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, this one video footage coming up is looks like it's just nothing but the in, the beginning. You know, I was sitting here looking at it like this, and I should have been looking at it like this. Whoops! <laughs> I think that it, it happened like that because of this. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Let me load up some more. All right. I do like Share Factory. I like the fact that they let us go ahead and do this stuff. I'll load that one up. I think that has you in it. I thought this was so cool. I mean, all the stuff that was built in the game. Let's see. I think this one was a good shot. Again, I gotta look at all this stuff, like... I think that's when I got hit. Yeah. <laughs> that one was crazy. Hang on. I was gonna do that one, but I, I stopped. Oh, reach the limit. They're like, you reached the limit. 
Now, what I should do is just kind of like turn this up. That's the thing about Share Factory is that they give you about 100%. So you kind of like have to turn it up a little bit. That's what I found that I have to do on some of my footage. Turn this up. And then I got to make sure I go full screen. I was just really looking at the footage, just really small. And I thought, oh, I forgot to do full screen. Oh, I think this is just a little bit. This is like a little one. This one was actually after a stream. This town was amazing. Look at all these people. Look at them. Look at all the stuff that they're making. Look at this. It's crazy. Look. Stuff is coming in. And I do this a lot, too. I would just walk around. And see, me walking around, no one can see me. It's like, you must be very popular, young one. The comrade stars above your head shine. And in the air, look at the, all those stars up there. This right here. Oh! I was like, aww. Oh. Whoa, sorry, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Drop the controller. <laughs> I dropped the controller. Sorry about that. I think this is where I was just kind of like going to different places and looking around. Oh man, all the towns I've been to. I think I was trying to make sure I could see who built this. I thought, okay, this would be kind of cool.
I was like, whoa, almost got hit. <laughs> Yeah. Just so happy. It's like good job. I didn't know what EOP was. Like um TTC EOP. I do plan on making more videos with music in it. I was just trying to get a good shot of the whole thing. I think I was using the binoculars at this point. <laughs> now I also ran into some European um, Tomorrow Children gamers and honestly there was like a variety of different individuals from different parts of the world that played this game. And, um, I was so happy to kind of run into them. And I think I got as many, as much footage as possible, um, to try to get them on, on film. Hey, hello! Yes! They made the tracks! I remember that, the racing tracks. Comrades, fellow TTC gamers. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> like some of the footage that I see, I, I do remember. I'm like, oh, okay, yes. Look at me try to be precise. Like, okay, how do I want this to look? Should it be like this? Does this look good? Really bunching them up. Hello! Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I just kind of threw it up there. The little, the little light. I'm like, oh no, here they come. That kind of glitched on me. I like these trees too. I like how those look.
All right. Yeah, I think I was looking at who was putting stuff in these locations. I always did weird stuff like this, guys. Honestly, I would I just go to a town and I just do what I got to do and I'm like, "Okay. You know, someone's out there." Someone's out there collecting All oh, these guys. Oh, the islands? Yes. The well one was amazing. I was like, no, I can't do it, no! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! I can't do it! <laughs> yes, the, the blue fruit. Yes. Yeah, I did like the trees, you know, I did like uh, a, a small little video of the trees. Man, that thing was tricky. Doing the tree video, whew, it, it took longer than I thought, only because I had to go find those trees. And I don't know how many towns I went into just to look. And sometimes I would make the trees and then someone would take them and then they would plant them and I'm like, oh, I need that tree to go take back to that one town so I could do this video. That one time I got stuck in the void and my brother, uh, Native Mercy, watched me. He's like, oh, wow, you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere. You don't have any supplies or nothing. I ran out of gas while I was in the void. And I said, well, I see the bus. It, it's way over there, but I think I can make it. He didn't think I could. He was like, there's no way you can make that. I said, I think I can. I think I can make it. And I didn't have any jetpack or anything like that or any crystals. I didn't have anything in my backpack. And I hopped like crazy. I hopped like a bunny towards that bus. And I jumped on. I was like, whoa. Hey, how you doing, friend? Hello, Ringo. Ringo son. We were just talking about you. I said, when you did the stream that I, I ran into, it was kind of like the part where it kind of opened the door to, you know, a lot of other people streaming. Because honestly, I, I didn't really see other people streaming. And then I ran into you stream and I was like, look. Wow, they're doing a marathon? I thought that was so cool. I watched all your videos. And then I would jump in on your stream and I'd watch what you were doing. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Look at them. They're working really hard, individuals. The Shoe Island. So yes, it was it was thanks to you that I started noticing other streamers out there who were broadcasting the Tomorrow Children. It was that that huge group that lined you had them all lined up and they were posing and everything like that. 
honestly, I never ran into anything like that. You were the first one that I have ever seen do that with a large group. And that kind of introduced me to other gamers out there who were doing that. You know, just kind of like, oh, wow. That's so cool. And I consider you my good friend. I consider all the the gamers that I, I met in this game my good friend. Part of my gaming family. Every now and then my brother would come in and talk to me. And so my character would just kind of just be sitting there sometimes doing nothing. Wow, when it got dark in the game, woo, it got dark in this game. Midnight. Yes! TTC Friends Forever! The game that, that brought us all together. You know, you can't forget, you can't forget the game. It's a... Uh, It's one of those moments. I'm like, man, it's dark. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna die. This is the money I would be spending. I would be spending a lot of money in this game. Like, I would go and get maybe a $50 card. And my brother, I remember I got a $50 card. And I said, I'm just going to buy like a couple of void powers. Just, just a little bit. And <laughs> I ended up spending the whole 50 because um, I kept buying stuff and it just disappeared. I'm like, ah, oh, someone granted me some light I can see. <laughs> yeah. And when I'd watch, when I would watch the, um, TTC streamers video, I would go to their location either during or later on and then just take a look at the, the stuff that they were doing in that town. Oh, it glitched on me. I like trees, but I enjoyed cutting them down in this game. Felt like a lumberjack. Yeah. Again, there were times my brother would come in and talk to me. I'm like, wow, look at this. I got the strength. If I was even stronger, I'd probably throw those those logs all the way to town. Now, I did a video. I did do a video on these trees. I was trying to figure out if I could produce a certain amount of logs with cutting techniques. I failed at it miserably. It took... A lot of time I mean I would have video footage upon video footage of me cutting these trees in different ways and I'm thinking okay wait a minute why and then I, I found out they're random they're random and I'm like oh I spent all that time cutting these trees I thought that was cool. I was like, I got the strength of a he person, he woman, he man. I'm so strong and powerful. <laughs> Just being able to throw those logs. See that little smoke coming from my arms? I was just all happy about that. I says, watch me go.
there'd be times where it would glitch on me and I would be stuck kicking or not kicking but stuck cutting the trees and I, I was like I don't want to lose my point so I'd sit there for a while and then finally it would kick in And it would always freak me out when I'd hear people, like I would hear them pop up. Because, you know, I'm so used to thinking I'm alone in the game and then people would pop up and I'd go, whoa, there's someone following me. <laughs> yeah. I know the the character in this game is so cute. I mean, I love like the expression on her face and I even I told my brother I said look when she eats the apple she just opens up her mouth and just like I think what Native Mercy liked about the game was being able to shoot the monsters and um, they both love digging getting supplies and everything like that Hey, hello! How you been? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes, a very long time. I seen some of your videos. I always watch everyone's videos. I, I try to give them a like. So if you see a like on your videos, I know one of them is mine. Anyone that I subscribe to, I give them a like. I'll watch their videos. I'll be sitting there watching. My brothers, they thought I was playing a couple of times. I'm like, no, I'm just watching someone else's stream. The island I liked was the paint island, the sculpture island, the whale island was really nice. I did like all the faces. I thought those were cool. Whoa. I was like, oh, I don't know what happened, but I survived. Okay, see you later. Have fun at work. I thought this thing is gonna kill me. Go, get out of here. Go. I said, Bomb, run. I'm stuck. I was like, Oh, I was panicking at this time. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was like, hey, this, hey, there you are! That's you down there! Look at you! <laughs> yes, have a good day! <laughs> I think you were above digging, and it's boom! I think right here again my brother's talking to me native mercy talks to me a lot oh yeah you remember this nice but yes we plan on getting red dead redemption 
I think it's gonna be a cool game. You know, I know this sounds silly, but I didn't get the video footage of this, but I actually uncovered one of the shoes. Like, I, I took all the shoe part off because I thought, wouldn't it be cool if there were feet underneath? There wasn't, but um, I did that. <laughs> I know, I, it was just a weird thing. I thought, I wonder if there's feet in here. And I was digging and digging and digging. And I was like, like, some of them had, like, a couple of toes. Oh, you don't like the feet island? Neither did Native Mercy. He he didn't like the feet island either. He used like ugh feet. <laughs> we got some cankles going on over there. I mean kinda hefty hefty legs. I think um, one time Native Mercy and Last Shot, they went to this island and Native Mercy went, Ooh, feet! <laughs> and he's like, I'm not digging there, I'm not digging there. <laughs> Came back to town. Yeah, very hard. Whoa. Yeah, Native Mercy just he he don't he doesn't like feet. Like um in the video game feet. He doesn't like how they look. Now, when I came across this game, I told my brothers, you gotta download this game, it's so cool looking. We went into a town together and we're like, they were like, where are you at? I don't see you. I said, oh, you can't see each other. They're like, what? I sometimes wonder how the game would have been if you could see one another. Oh, another failed mission. Yeah, that was happening a lot to me. Oh, glitched again. I think Native Mercy wants me to buy um, Conan Exile and I think he already bought it so of course I have to buy it too and maybe Last Shot I think that'd be kind of a cool game to try out But still, I miss this game. That spider, the little spider.
I don't know, it was weird. I just kept pressing weird buttons. But I did like the fact that you could gather in this game. dark. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm going to have to blow this up. I can't see. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, so lucky. Oh, I hate platforms. Yeah, the bombs are kind of tricky. When I would come across the hearts, I was always kind of happy to, to run into them because I like how they look. Oh, oh I got lucky. Woo. Hey, there's Maxidon. You know, I actually kind of have a backpack that kind of looks like what she has, but it's a Star Wars backpack. But it is the same color, and it kind of looks like that. Except it's just got Star Wars emblem on it, you know. My brother bought it for me. <laughs> I think it was about a couple of Christmas goes. He's like, hey, look at this. You want this? And I needed a new backpack. And I was like, yeah, what is it? And Star Wars. I'm like, yeah. I always like how they made it made it look like she was climbing up there. Oh yeah, the music's nice. Ah, platforms. Oh! <laughs> I spider monkey across and just jumped on that ladder. I'm like, let's go, Todd. Take me back. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go, Todd. <laughs> Todd, my good buddy, my best pal.
Wow, our trips on the bus. Woo. The stuff. I mean, we, we stay in town, work really hard, get on the bus, go to the islands, work really hard, drive back, get a ride back. There was always something to do in this game. I did like the little, um, cartoons. Why I'm running around? I just like how my character looked running, so I was like, ah. I'll just run around. Generate some electricity. Now, for the people who were actually in towns that went to a thousand, wow. I think right here I was trying to show my brother, yeah, you just run around, you generate electricity. He was like, well, why don't you just get on the treadmill? The drinks, the different variety of drinks. I'm sitting there talking to my brother again. Looking at the supplies, seeing if anybody drops something really good. Because I could use it. Oh, she's just really talking. Dynamite. My best friend. ready to go back out. Wow, this is a, a long footage. You just hear Godzilla coming. Look at him just go by. Look at it. Boom. The sound. Oh, there you are. The commercials.
I thought you were on the bus for a while. I guess you jumped off. Hello. Oh, thank you. at work I do that sometimes I sit there and pray someone and just take off running <laughs> yes small children Beautiful game. I was like, I can get that apple. I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is that one where I was like, what is he doing? What is Maxidon doing? He's sitting there looking. I think this was the town he was protecting. And it, I thought, oh, this is a good shot. Hey, and there, there he is. Look, that's you. <laughs> I thought this is a cool shot. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, you guys were in the same town in this uh, video footage. I think you told me you were checking to see if the um, monsters were going into town. The watchful protector. Oh, yeah. Yes, this game was very artistic and it was beautiful the sunset sometimes was really stunning the clouds in the sky and again I always appreciated the small details in the game portal nights it, it does have that cuteness going on, and they, they have incredible detail in their game as well. I told my brother, I said, they get, the detail in Portal Knights is spot on. And um, I told him, I said, well, I should do a video about Portal Knights and then just kind of like show that detail in the game. Getting kind of dark.
Oh, good times, yes, very good times. Hello? saw those dolls I said whoa I better not break them wow it's just dark look at that it's just like purple purple rain it's like a black light it almost like a black light going on I'm like there's light in there Yeah, sometimes I I run the wrong way <laughs> when it got this dark. I'm like, ah, don't kill me. <laughs> Starting to become daylight, I think. I think this was kind of like the unusual. It was an unusual town because the the night really had these nice colors. Look at my little legs go, go little legs go. Go little legs, go! If only I could climb a ladder that fast. Oh my god, no, I can't get back up! Yes, going up that that ladder extremely fast with all my might. I was like, I think I can make it. <laughs> I always took chances. Probably way too many chances when I was playing the game. that <laughs> I was like man are you kidding me I thought I was further down and I was like okay now I'll get further down and
Yeah. Oh, you can just hear that that spider moving around its feet. Yes, I, I don't like platforms too much. I mean, I can do them if I have to. Uh, sometimes it's just luck, though. I was like, oh, no, 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 let's get out of here. Let's go. Run, run. You'll be safe. I was like, woo. I could hear it. Oh, it took a while. It took a while. Oh, someone smashed the doll. Now, I was kind of surprised. Sometimes islands would really stay a long time, and then sometimes islands would just disappear kind of quick. But this one, it stayed up for a very long time. I think right here I'm probably doing something. I'm not quite sure what. Probably say refill on my drink. The drink I prefer while playing video games is some type of soda pop drink or some water maybe even like fruit punch type of drink it keeps me going like right now I have some candy right here candy's like you're neglecting me sorry <laughs> gummies I had bad eating habits while playing this game, guys, really, because um, sometimes I would get me some chips or some candy and I'd just sit there. My brothers would say, what did you eat today? And I'm like, a um, couple of gummies and some chips. And they're like, ah, oh, that's not eating. <laughs> couldn't help it you know when you get into the digging mode that was it you just you worked and you know No resources get left behind. So yeah, when I'm gaming it up, sometimes I forget to eat. That's bad. And um and sometimes when I do snack, it's not really good snacks. <laughs> Ooh, I got lucky on that one. I almost died. those eyes mmm apple 
I'd sometimes eat healthy snacks, grapes, apples, a couple of peaches, you know. That was kind of like on occasion, so. <laughs> oh, I thought I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong void power. So I kind of lucked out that I didn't die. I was just telling everybody that um, me and my brothers plan on getting um, Red Dead Redemption. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow because we have to go um, to a meeting, but it could be sometimes next week. Me, I always did this because I, I didn't want to come back and get the other resources. <laughs> Probably talking to my brother again. I thought it was so cool was at the hands. You know, the detail in the hands. You know, my brother asked me, how come you don't change your outfit? I said, I look good. <laughs> I look good in this. It's, it's a long white coat. You know, it's a long coat. Looks really nice. Now, I did like the Sushi Island. That was really nice on the gold. Oh, wow. Beautiful island, beautiful island. I could go get a jetpack, fly up to the top, and just dig and dig and dig. I was probably one of my favorites. Just being able to just do that. I remember this one time, I wasn't the only one, but um, there were a lot of people up on top of the Shushi Island and when they started digging wow I mean resources were just scattered everywhere yeah I don't know I mean I think I was kind of surprised on how long it kind of lasts Yes, a lot of gold on that, that sushi island. It was fun. Oh, I love that, though. I mean, I when I went to the island where it had a lot of people in it, I saw like five or six jetpacks shooting up to the very top of, the, uh, of that island. And then I got up there, and man, they were digging just like a machine just digging digging and they destroyed that that one sushi that had nothing but gold in a matter of minutes it was just done and there were a ton of resources on the on the void and I was like I can't dig because these guys are too fast so I'll just go and collect but that was amazing I was like so impressed by that I mean, the gamers, what they did in this game, 
I honestly I was really shocked about it because I thought no one could ever do that and then you know I watched how they would work really really fast and they they constantly help like if you were in a town that had a lot of people if you died someone would go and and revive you which I thought was really really cool I think that I want that one tree over there Yes, hard workers. And I think that was the coolest thing about the game. Because you could see every gamer has their own personality. I, no gamer is the same, ever. And um, in this game, you could really see that. Yeah, finally it's destroying itself. The island's like, I can't take it anymore. You collected all the resources. Get off of me. Go away. Oh, I lucked out on that one. When my brothers were playing and we were at an island and it started shaking like that, we didn't know what that was. We were kind of like, what's uh? What's going on? <laughs> we stayed until we started seeing things disappear and then we kind of like ran for it. But this game was really interesting to have these these unique islands pop up for you to go collect resources on and then you had to worry about the monsters evading the towns you had to worry about your resources you had to make sure your resources were up if you wanted to work on the monuments to give you more points you had to work on those so there was a job for everybody in the game Nowadays, the games we have, there's only like a couple of jobs that you have to do. Minecraft is a good game. Uh, the new monsters that they added in that game, whoa. That's, um... I was like, oh, someone's wearing the doctor's outfit, that's so cool! Recently, I played Monster Hunter Survival, and I got killed by the Phantom. And that is a, a creature that kills you because you didn't sleep. And, um, wow. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful when it disappears. Poof. And there it goes. I was like, oh. It's, um, they added new creatures to Minecraft, so if you're playing survival, it, it became a little harder, I guess you could say, because now you have zombies that are in the water. There are shipwrecks inside the water now, and you have these monsters that go after you because you don't do a certain thing. And the one that killed me really, really quick was the one that kills you if you didn't sleep. And, you know, I was at full hearts and it just pecked me like twice and that was it. I was done. And Portal Knights, they added some new monsters to their game too. But uh, the thing about Portal Knights is the detail. I really do like the detail. Oh yeah, this is when I was using these stars to try to provide light. I thought this looks okay. But Minecraft, 
you know, you gather items to build certain things. And then you had to worry about all the monsters coming to destroy your, your stuff. This game here, yes, you dig, but the, the main purpose was to make sure that your town was functioning. I thought, oh, that looks okay. That provides some light. Three stars. I'm like, do, do they need help? Look out, citizens! I was like, I'll help! I'll help! Oh! Boom! Remember that? I was like, what? I was kind of amazed by that because it, it shot at me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, me too, me too. They did give you a challenge. Welcome, human! Oh, she wants food. I'm like, oh man! Gotta get her some food! She just walks off. My favorite spot. Yes, she was always complaining. I never, I don't think I ever did finish that one. I think I needed to find another doll for her, her brother. I never got the chance to finish it. Sony needs to go ahead and turn this thing back on so I can finish that quest. <laughs> so I was like, nope, nope, not gonna do it. Oh yeah? I can't remember the last one. I think it was the last one I wasn't able to do. Oh, I remember. Max Don and... and and a group of others were trying to kill the gold one, the gold Godzilla. That that was funny. <laughs> I'm just like real close. 
I'm like, die, die! Oh, he squashed somebody! Oh, someone is dead! No! I'm just like, wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Hop! Hop to safety! Oh, they're still down. Yes, the gold one. I think it was the stream Tomorrow Children is Living Art. I think it was that one. It was part one and two of it. Oh, that individual is dead again. I'm like, what? Oh, no. I'm not quite sure what happened. I'm like, is there anything I could... I'm like, make it day, make it day! <laughs> I'm about to die! I was like, thank you! Again, I do plan on doing more videos um, based on all the footage I have. I'm, I'm going to get an extender, guys. And um, once I do that, then I can continue doing um, the videos and stuff like that. But I figured, well, to, today, tonight, I do a stream, show all the screenshots that were given to me. And then do a couple of videos like this. So show some of the footage. I'm like, this dude's still dead. I was like, I'm a doctor. I have to help. I'll try to help. Come on. You can make it. Get up. Hop over here. <laughs> Yes! TTC forever! I thought maybe I could put a map there and then if they die a little stamp there maybe maybe if they they'll live so I I don't know where they're at right now I'm like huh hmm Still looking for them. Where where are they? Trying to make sure that they're safe. I always did this sometimes if I saw someone down, I try to help them. Because, you know, you got the doctor's suit on, you gotta help. <laughs> and I'm all about healing. I thought, would this help? Like, if they are they standing there and they just don't know what to, to get through, or maybe I, if I put this here, that could guide them. And I was like, I don't know. Don't know where they're at. Use of the 
<laughs> I'm like, I don't know if this will help, but maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm like, okay, I got three left. I'm like, hmm, doesn't look like they're there. <laughs> hey, sauce! And then it ends. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me go ahead and delete this one and then extend that one to see what happens. Yes. Oh, how much? How how long is this? Yes, Savvy! I would see them everywhere! Everywhere! Like in almost every town! They were there! Oh, yeah? That'd be cool. That would be cool. I've seen um, your Minecraft Tomorrow Children that you did. And that was pretty cool. I'm digging it. Looks awesome. Nice! Yeah, I told my brothers, I said, you know, maybe I should try to make the, um, the face island. I thought about that, I was like, maybe I could try to do that, and my brothers kind of looked at me like, are you for real? <laughs> I was like, well, why not, you know, go create a mode, maybe I could make it happen. It'd be cool, because for me, what I would try to do is I would try to put digging spots in there, you know? <laughs> I don't know how I would do that, though. Like, the tree, you would probably have to, like, have the tree grow. Then you'd have gold, and then you would have coal. Crystals, so, hmm... Not sure what would be the crystals. Diamonds? I got kicked. Error. Oh, yeah, the pig island would be cool. I'm like, hmm. I was sitting there wondering, like, oh, someone kicked an apple at him. I'm like, what? Oh, he's getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't throw those apples at me. I think I was standing there wondering if I should go to the island or not. I love this island. This was a challenge, this one right here. Probably the largest one of the islands next to the well. Or 
that uh, castle, the sand castle thing, probably was was a little bit bigger than this, maybe. The one with the octopus. Oh, attack the officers. Um, you would attack the officers. What? So, so you're the one they were talking about. They'd go and tell me, oh yeah, this person came in here and started attacking me with apples. I would try to bring the light, but every time I'd set it down, it was stolen. Like, I think I just realized they didn't have the supplies I needed. And then I was going to go run back to get them. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't do anything. They don't. That's true. Take off running. Scared. Screaming. running for their lives. Yeah, anytime an attack happened, the officers did not help. They would run past the civilians. I think their sole purpose was just to arrest you and make sure you kept doing stuff. Oh, wow, I got a lot of a lot of tickets. Two thousand five hundred sixty-seven. I must have been doing pretty good. Every now and then, I would have a lot of tickets on me, and then I'd just be broke in just a matter of like a couple of islands. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Who was that? Who was that? That freaked me out. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. You know, recreating all the stuff in this deal. I was like, oh, nice. I think someone gave me some supplies. Sauce probably bought some supplies. I was like, oh, cool. Here's really chopping. I was like, hang on, what do they got? Oh, shotgun. Like shovel. Another shotgun. Hmm. It's got 15. That's got 15. They're basically the same. I'm not quite sure what stream it might have been, but I did try to attempt to take down the front side of the island that's um, in the background there, just so I could see the different layers and everything like that. I did okay doing that, except... I don't think I was fast enough. I do apologize about some of my streams because the mic was was bad and then sometimes the mic would be okay. The mic I have now is alright, but you know, I do plan on, on getting a new mic. I think right here I was like, no, Todd, come back! Don't leave me! <laughs> I thought maybe I could just like jump across and I thought, oh, I don't want to use my, my jet pack. I just got that thing and I was 
Like, what is this? Liquid chalk. Oh yeah, this, this thing right here. I was like, what? What is he doing? Running on a treadmill. Or something. I'm like, what the heck? I was like, oh, I gotta get a picture of this. Hang on. He's just like working out. Oh, and I think that's it. Hang on. Is that all of that that way? Yes, that was all that one. Okay, let me go ahead and exit without saving. New product. New project, I mean. New project! By the game. Yeah, I did have quite a bit. Now, I wish... Now, I've been doing a little um, category type of thing to make sure I, I know what footage is what. Let's see. Just gonna turn it up. Oh, oh. Just gonna make sure I. Let's see, we'll add one more if I can. Now, sure fact, it only allows you to do 60 minutes. So, sometimes I have to cut the footage down a little bit when I make these videos. It's like, you're over the cap. I'm like, what? What do you mean I'm over the cap? I think I showed this one. I'm not quite sure if I showed this one. Oh, what? Just a little bit of it. Hang on. I'm not quite sure what this one was. Oh, yeah, we've seen this one. Let's try it. Go! Press EV. Press e. So, in some of these videos, I'll probably just mix match them into um, maybe music videos or something like that. Again, I'm trying my best to get um, a list going so I can know what is in what. Nisha. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> Providing us with light so we don't die. Yeah. It's really loading up.
Yes, why why that officer was just running and hiding in one spot? This town is dark. Really, really dark. I always liked the towns that where the night went really quick. I always thought that was cool. You'd vote in um, a mayor, and then they would go and make sure that the night would go by really fast. Or you could vote in a mayor that would go and give you more points when you dig. I was like, oh! <laughs> I was like, wow, how did I survive? Oh yeah, it's a nice song. They do have the full soundtrack of the Tomorrow Children game in Spotify. And I was so surprised that it was in there. When I looked it up, I was like, oh, they have it in there. Are you kidding me? And I added it to my list. Oh, I think your the bus that you made is nice. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, this is very tricky. Trying to make sure I don't die. Oh, it glitched. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, whoops. Just killed that doll. I was like, no! I'm a murderer! I just killed the doll! <laughs> yes, I will plan on categorizing the videos that I have a little bit more so I can go ahead and just get more videos out get the extenders so I can have more space plan on doing a lot of that in the upcoming days Now the curve digging tool, it always got me.
Oh, yeah? Yes, it's nice. Yes, I like it too. I, I, I kick on some music sometimes when I'm playing. Just be sitting there just like, oh, wow, this is so cool. I'm glad they have that on PlayStation 4. You can play music on Spotify and play a game. At the same time. Which I think is very nice. I like the slide down. I thought that was so funny. they have any other game soundtracks on there I didn't take a look I mean I was just really thrilled that they had the tomorrow children soundtrack hey look who's showing up just got into town Oh, I loved exploring all these islands in this game. It was so fun. Meeting all the cool gamers in this game was really nice. Recording them, having fun recording them was even, even better. I mean, honestly, just by looking at this, you know, you're you're basically playing a game in artwork. Like all of this looks like a painting, you know. I know some games are like that, but it being so artistically done like this. I think the one thing that um I wish I could see more of was the um, the bath sink island, the sink island with the rubber ducky and everything like that. I think I ran into that island probably two times. Oh, it glitched. I hope they bring this game back or a version of it tomorrow children 2 remastered
Hey, there you are! I mean, I think it's worth it. I really do. I mean, I... I think it was perfect the way it was. Oh, there it goes. I'm like, ah, I gotta get out of here. I'm like, okay, let's do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. <laughs> I'm still going. Dig until the end. I like the sound that the island, you know, makes when it's, it's disappearing. Oh, so lucky I did not break that doll. Taking the island out, I'm like, I think we got everything. Everything is good. I was like, yeah. You keep digging, I'll keep digging. I was like, oh, nothing in there. Oh, I think that's it. I'm not quite sure what I was. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, someone's still going up to the top. They're like, I can do it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Now, being stuck out there when the island disappeared, <laughs> that was funny. That happened to me a lot. That cat right there. Cat just being bad. I always say that cat was me ordering up stuff. <laughs> I want more stuff. I want more stuff. <laughs> I'll buy this. I'll buy that. I'll buy this. <laughs> oh yeah, nice, nice excavation. Illuminate people. 
I know there's probably some people still stuck out there because the bus is just now returning. Now sometimes when there would be a lot of resources, they disappear at the loading area. I always hated that. I was like, no! All that hard work gone. Nice toss. Good job. I was like, wasn't he way over there? Now he's over here. <laughs> Just too fast. Back to being broke again. That's me. <laughs> Always losing money. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, that's kind of weird. I think it was because it was just a, like a little item. What's that? Minecraft? Oh, okay. That'd be cool. That'd be nice. Yeah, I look forward to that. Building in Minecraft. I recently started doing a, um, oh, I'm sitting at my house, a creative mode, and, um, I started building buildings in creative mode on Minecraft. Most of the time, what I would do was, I would always go into survival, but I'm telling you, those, those new monsters that they added in Minecraft in survival mode, wow. They don't play. <laughs> they do not play. Oh, I think that was my brother. Hang on, wait a minute. I think that was my brother's house. Right? Let's see, hang on. So we went back this way. No, 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 wait, wait, go back, go back. I want to see. Was that my brother's house? Yeah, Native Mercy! Living next door to my brother. Yeah, I remember he showed up and he put his house there and he did some work and then um, I stayed, of course. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, let's do it. I 
think that would be awesome. Collaboration in Minecraft. You know, I do have um, other TTC gamers on my list, and I do apologize. There's there's been time where I I didn't game with them. Um, probably due to time or maybe the fact that they have games I don't. Oh, the Teeth Island! Cut a hole right through the teeth. Nice. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. I was like, why can't I cut into this? That sounds good. Maxon, let's do it. Get all the other TTC people and, and all get into Minecraft and just make different variety tomorrow children items. That'd be nice. like this island because of the the gold like give me any island that had abundant of anything I'll dig that's my favorite island or the island would have to be really artistic or even large in a way hey there you are Oh, you do fine. You do fine. I remember you joined uh, me and my brothers in Monster Hunter. You were fine. And then there was that time you joined, um, we went, um, Foxy, remember? That was fun, too. Foxy joined us in that one match. I thought that was funny. Honestly, after after the fact that um, Tomorrow Children closed, I think you, me, and Foxy, we, um, I say Foxy, but it's Fox, 13, 13, I think, um, we went to play Grand Theft Auto to try to get our minds off of the fact that we just lost our game, we just lost Tomorrow Children. Oh, man. Oops, sorry. I dropped the controller again. Yes, I remember that. I don't think anyone knows that, but yes, right after the live broadcast of the end of Tomorrow Children, it was the very last day, Max, Don, and Fox, they were like, you want to play Grand Theft Auto? And I was like, yeah, let's go. And we, we did some racing games, which were very fun. But it kind of helped, because I was feeling um, kind of down since um, that was it. Like, oh wow, I'll never be able to get back into this game again. And getting in Grand Theft Auto Racing was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, you and Fox ran into each other. I remember that. You guys were running into each other. Bumping each other off the track. <laughs> and either I was far behind and then you guys would bump each other. Ram each other off the track and then I would pass you guys because you guys died. Yes, that's what we did after the stream. I think, if anything, um, when Tomorrow Children ended, in the back of my mind, 
I was saying, I hope that all the gamers that were a part of the game will stick together. We'll friend each other and stick together. And I think that was my, my main concern was to keep that friendship going. Like for me, when, when PlayStation Home ended, some of the friendships I had, they just disappeared. And some of the friendships stayed. So I was hoping that, you know, in this game, the comrades would stay together. And so far, it's been doing pretty good. I mean, I I have some of those um, gamers on my list. And they're still there, which is awesome. My friends, my comrades. You know, I really wasn't into um, rushing games too much, but this one, Tomorrow Children, kind of like um, changed my mind about rushing games. I think Red Factor was probably a Russian game. I'm not quite sure. I, I could be wrong on that one. But what appealed to me on this game the most was the fact that it was so beautiful. The colors bouncing off of the material. You know, and then when you, you break something, you have that colorful sparkles on you and everything. I thought that was really cool. I liked everything about the game, the sunset, the the artistic islands. Characters were just really cute. Yes, definitely. Yes! TTC forever! We're one big happy family! Yeah, I mean, Sony could... I don't know. I don't, I Honestly, I think that they could just turn the game back on. They have the power to do so. Have a heart, Sony. Let them... Commission them for more work. Get into the contracts. Put your, your pride aside. Give them another chance to make a sequel to this game so the fans of this game can play. That's all we want to do. We just want to play the game. That's not so bad. Make a hard copy. Give us the disc version of this thing. Charge me 60 bucks to buy it. I'll do it. It's getting dark. At this point, I can't see anything. I'm just kind of like, I don't know where that's going. Hopefully, it's going in the right spot.
Yeah, the the uh, Tooth Island. Yes. So dark. I'm like, I can't see. <laughs> Working on the bad tooth, this doctor. Making sure there's no cavities. When I say that, I'll go ahead and eat some more candy. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is kind of like Halloween candy. Leftover Halloween candy. We didn't go trick-or-treating because, you know, we don't have any kids or anything like that. And we tried to get some of our cousins, but um, we didn't get our cousins to go trick-or-treating this time. We did give out candy, though. Man, what I think about, like, what would happen if this game came back on? What would I do? I would be streaming like crazy. <laughs> like, every, every day, like, if I got on the game, I'd just stream. Oh, another failed mission. Yes! Everyone would be streaming this game if it came back on. Oh yeah, I remember this. I set this up earlier. Todd kept leaving me like he's doing right now. Yeah, Marathon TTC, definitely. I, if they came out with the CD copy of this game, and they charged me 60 bucks, I'd buy two copies of it. So I'd have one for my collection, and then I'd have one to play. And even if they came out with merchandise, I think I came across probably one, one company that was doing merchandise of this game. The character didn't look exactly like it. But, uh, you know, a company should try to do that. Like, get the license to go and, and sell some merchandise on this game. Because I would buy a t-shirt. I'd buy a poster, a figurine. His feet got tore into.
Just keep digging. <laughs> I recently got a new television and this is the first game I'm streaming on it. it looks beautiful. Beautiful. My other television was okay but it was going out. I honestly just really like the, the detail and the uh, texture. I was like, oh great. <laughs> Just me thinking about taking a chance. I'm like, I think I could get that gold. It's like, go, oh, get out of here, go. Just not even caring if it accidentally goes off and hits somebody out there. This is a, a good idea. Oh, nice. There's me taking another chance. Five. <laughs> what? I'm like, ah! Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to knock that down. I'm like, okay, maybe I can make it. Maybe I can. I'm like, nah, fair enough. <laughs> Thinking about put on, pulling the um, the dynamite out and then maybe grabbing a hold of my umbrella and, and yeah, no, I didn't take any chances on that one. I was like, nope, the doll is too important. I have to take the doll back to town. It is a must. I, I liked it when Godzilla went through these islands. I thought that was kind of cool. It kind of helped me see what was inside them. Yeah, the sound of the stage.
I don't know. I always liked it when she jumps. There are times I'd use jumping everywhere. And I'd like the void quakes where the island would just disappear by itself and then all the resources would fall down. Though that was really exciting. I, I like that. Kind of difficult though if you're digging and then it happens. Godzilla's like, no resources for you. I'm destroying all of this. I take my little walkway that I made. My little sidewalk. I'm like, high five! High five! I was like, jetpack scored. And I was like, oh, it's not even. <laughs> it's not even a full jetpack. I was like, hmm. Aw, oh, Halloween. Man. I was thinking I was I could probably put it up there. Oh, yeah, I'm going over there and just leaving like a little bit of gas in that jetpack. This place was kind of nice. I like how this, this place was set up. Um, well, um, from what uh, the video footage that I've seen. I think everything was there. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen any monuments. You know. But I think you got everything down. I was like, oh no. I was like, oh no. I don't even think I'm doing any damage.
Godzilla's like, oh yeah, you think you're tough? You're not tough. I'll show you tough. I'm gonna go in there and destroy that heart. Oh, the tasers. I'm kind of surprised it's just standing there. I'm like, what? Uh-oh. No, don't do it! Don't do it! No! Oh! <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. It's like, ah, my head! I'm like, what? Oh, there it goes. Just really running down there. Help me, officers, help me! Chaplain, oh no, that thing got destroyed. Time to dig in. <laughs> Oh, I can hear boxes. Oh, nice. I just ran out of those. I always thought that was cool about Godzilla. You kill Godzilla and you get the resources inside the body. Oh! Extremely fun. I, I did like that island a lot. It was a fantastic island.
<laughs> oh man. Woo. This island was something else. Chocolate, everything. Chocolate, strawberries, sugar. Vanilla, cream. Fudge. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. I think after this, um, I think after this video is done, I will go ahead and end the broadcast. I'm glad you guys stopped by and, and check it out. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a little bigger. I have to look at your video footage again. I'll check it out. That's weird. I'm getting kind of like some... Well, what was that? <laughs> I was playing with my cat. My cat came in here. I want to show this right here. Hang on. Every now and then, my brother will go and bring the cat in there, and I'm like, "Oh, come here." He's our little, he's our little boy, oh, little kitty cat. Now I did show this, but I'll, I'll, I'll have it to this right there. Like this. I thought this was cool. Yeah, I was sitting there playing with my cat. I was like, come here. Now, sometimes our cat is really nice, but then sometimes the cat will just claw right into my back, jump up on my chair, and just kind of like, I feel its claws on my back, and I go, ah! <laughs> you tearing me apart, cat! I think my brother named that cat, um, what is it? Hi, no, Highlander? I think he named it Highlander. I think the cat's named Highlander. I'm pretty sure it is named Highlander. Yeah, I'll take a look at your, um, your video on um, Minecraft and check it out. I always try not to let the cat into my room when I'm, I'm, you know, doing a stream, cause that cat. Oh man, you hear me screaming every now and then because that cat will claw me. I'm like, ah, Highlander, leave me alone. <laughs> I thought this was really, really cool looking. Seeing this, I was like, wow, that looks so nice. That is so cool looking. I just like how it was done. And that's it, guys. Oh, man. And that's it, everybody. Just leave this up. Now, like I said um, earlier, you see this one right here. Um, I'll give this one away. And then the pumpkin one, I'll give this one away. The one in the middle where it's my character, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd like a portrait of my character. I might put this one in a frame. You know, they're decent size. They're, um, 
hang on, wait, 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 let's see. I think I have, hang on, let me look at my backpack here. I think I have the, nine inches by 12 inches. I think that's the size of each of them. Yeah, yeah. So I might go ahead and give out the first one and the third one. Now, how I'm going to go about doing this, I don't know. I don't know. But um, whoever, um, like I said, if I do a contest thing or if I just randomly select people and then just give these out to them, basically what I'll be doing is mailing them out to them. And um, I'll put them in a nice envelope to where they won't get too damaged. I'll sign my name on there. I'll leave my gamer name on there. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if they want my real name on there. But um, I'm just giving them out. I'm not going to keep them. I'm just going to like make different variety of art based on the little girl. And then just give those out as time goes on. And what they are is colored pencil on paper. And I sometimes use ink. And sometimes I'll use acrylic if I need white in there. Sometimes it's heavy. It's a really heavy um, drawing. But um, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll give the first one out and the third one out. And then I'll make some more and I'll give those out to random individuals. Probably do it as a contest. I don't know. I'm still working those details out. But um, who knows, you know, some individual might be able to have this. And then, you know, hey, look, I got this. And you could do whatever you want with them. Hang them up, tear them up. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I will make some more. And, um... I'll just do that. And my brothers were the ones that suggested that. And um, I have to ask them exactly how we would go about doing that. You know, I do have a P.O. box, so I could just push those out there. So I think that would be kind of cool. But I'll work out the details about that and let you guys know either on Twitter or another stream. I plan on doing uh, some more streams based on different video footage that I did. And I will upload some videos, music videos and stuff like that. And um, I'm just, I'm not giving up on this game as of yet. I'm a big fan of it. So I'll probably just keep doing this over and over again. But I thank you guys for stopping by. It was so cool seeing some of the fellow comrades show up in the stream. And I hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage. I do have quite a bit that I do have to categorize and organize a little bit better. But I thank you guys. It was fun gaming with you on this game and having wonderful memories. I think everyone who played the Tomorrow Children were pro gamers because they really did do things that I honestly did not think you could do in the game. And I had the privilege of watching each and every one of you you may have not even noticed me, but yes, I did watch you and I recorded you and saw what you did and everything like that. And just by doing that, I, I think you guys are my my good friends, family, TTC family, TTC forever. I think we need to come up with a holiday. We either celebrate the end of it or we celebrate the beginning of it, you know, and that I'll just kind of like corroborate and maybe do a stream or something on the on those days but um for all those who do have video footage of this beautiful game please let me know in the comment give me your channel so i can give it a like and i can watch it and i can subscribe to your channel i like to subscribe to fellow comrades who played this game and um I'd like to get to know you. Add me to your friends list. There are a lot of communities based on this game on PlayStation 4. 
If you have one or if you started one and wanted me to join, please let me know that as well. Um, I, we currently have TTC um, Unite. That's the one that my brother's running. And then there's some other ones that are out there too. So be on the lookout for those. Join them up because you might find some fellow comrades that might have helped you out in the game when you really, really need it. And I know a lot of people miss this game, and it's it's hard to watch some of the footage. You'll end up smiling, and then you, you want to play the game so bad, and then you can't. And you're like, oh, and you get angry. You get angry at Sony for taking it away from you. But um, maybe someone out there, a kind person out there watching who is in of power might... Have a heart and say, let's give the fans what they really, really want. But I'm going to go ahead and end this stream. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, TTC Forever comrades. I'll see all my friends and comrades next time. Have a good night or have a good morning. And stay safe, guys. Stick together. Unite. Yes. All right, I'll see you next time.